Akagi was established in May of 2012 after I lost my husband Mark to esophageal cancer. When Mark was first diagnosed, we tried to find a support group and there were none. We looked online and there was nothing, nothing in New South Wales and nothing across Australia. When I lost Mark, I made a commitment to do something to change this for other people that were diagnosed in Australia. I met Polly when she was um, in the palliative care unit with her husband Mark. Since then, uh, Polly started up the Okagi support group, which is a really good thing for this area, as there are no other support groups like it. People need to realise that they're not the only person doing this journey. It makes them feel less isolated. It makes them feel like there are other people that understand what they're going through. So I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer in November 2013. I um, was shocked, to say the least. Uh, it was the last thing I was expecting. I find the support group excellent. They just need to, to have somebody that they can talk to and be there with them. It's a good, good way to either vent your emotions or to, to learn something new or to use a new tactic that you can be more helpful to the person that's going through what they're going through. I've been very impressed with the support that I was able to receive. I'm hoping that at some stage down the track I can help other survivors. It's onwards and upwards and um, while I can't say I'm feeling 100%, I'm getting bloody close. A number of years ago, Polly came to me about doing some fundraising and what immediately um, intrigued me was how this, uh, th this woman had turned around uh, such a tragedy in her life and made it such an exciting, positive thing and she's such an exuberant, excited, enthusiastic person that there was no way you could escape um, Okagi. Uh, the only thing that you could really do was get involved and get on board. Over the years we've also created awareness programs and we've also put money into funding research, targeted research into this disease. One of the things we're really excited about at Okagi is that from 2016 we will be fully funding a PhD scholarship at the Western Sydney University. Esophageal cancer we know there are a number of risk factors including smoking and reflux disease. What we don't know about esophageal cancer is effective ways to prevent the cancer. The Okagi PhD scholarship is a three-year scholarship that will offer a PhD candidate some experience in the research field. And what we're able to provide is exposure to the latest um, equipment available um, to, to produce some world-leading research in the field of esophageal cancer. It's going to help quite a lot. I mean, uh, like being part of such a great team, being able to let people know what's, what's quite unknown out there. It's really going to like give an insight on what esophageal cancer is, is all about. It's going to be a quite exciting future. <laughs> we at Western Sydney University, in partnership with Okagi, are very hopeful that our research will lead to a comprehensive map of the microbes in the esophagus. That will then pave the way for more early effective diagnostics and also lead to tailored treatments for preventing esophageal cancer. Okagi's future looks bright. There's still a lot to do, but we're going to continue to raise awareness, fund targeted research and provide support to those diagnosed and the families of people with esophageal cancer.